girls and welcome back to my channel so today's video i thought i would do a very in-depth sort of tour of my dressing table now maybe a couple of months ago i done a tour of my actual beauty room like the whole room but it's changed a lot since then i'm a bit more organized now i'm not going to show you guys all of this and all what's in the drawers there because i'll leave that for another video i just thought today's video i can be quite in depth with my dressing table um i get a lot of questions where it's from what's inside them all of that kind of stuff so i'm gonna answer all of your questions for that so if you want to know more inside my dressing table and all of that kind of stuff then please keep watching so my angels this is what my dressing table looks like and i'm sorry the window is open it is very hot in here so I'll wait for that car to go by okay it's gone by now um okay so this is my dressing table i get so many questions about where it's from the hollywood mirror is from hollywoodmirrors.co.uk i will leave a link and i think i've got a code for you guys if you're interested in that as well so you can get some money off that it's amazing i literally love it so much and then my actual dressing table and stool is from lifestyle furniture i love this brand i've got most of my furniture and stuff in my flat from this brand so yeah i love it so i'm going to show you guys in each of the drawers i'm going to jump into this drawer first because there is something very exciting i want to show you yay okay angels so i popped you on here really quickly just to share with you guys this product i'm about to share with you so this pro this product <laughs> this video is in collaboration with deck of scarlet which is one of my favorite brands you guys know if you haven't seen me talk about them before i've basically made my own palette with them i've actually flown to new york for them i been to their headquarters it's just i love this brand so i've met everyone behind it and i love the idea of it and the quality and everything like that so i love working with them it is a monthly thing and i'm just so happy so if you've never heard of deck of scarlet before they are a very luxury brand but not for the luxury price if that makes sense they are a monthly subscription brand brand why can't i ever say that right monthly subscription brand I mean, you can buy the products one off if you do want to but i recommend doing their monthly subscription sort of thing and it is 29.95 dollars each month each month you'll receive it could be a kit it could be an eyeshadow it could be different products anything like that they're coming out with so many different ranges and it's just so exciting so each month they come out of completely new products and you don't know what you're going to get actually i say that you can sneak peek before so you don't have to buy every month if you don't want to you can skip a month if you're not sure and they won't charge you for it obviously so yeah you get previews beforehand but i would leave it i think it's exciting whenever i get them i'm like oh my god what is it what is it so yeah i love it so much so yeah each of their monthly i can't do it monthly subscriptions are 29.95 which is cheaper than a palette at sephora like come on and you're getting each month and the, oh it's just it's so good and you can just build your little collection up which i've got in my drawer down there and i've got all my deck of scarlet bits and it just looks so nice and sleek and it's so versatile because i feel like deck of scarlet is an amazing brand to sort of step out your comfort zone a little bit they really try and experiment with different shades and colors and things like that and they just they make each palette very versatile so you can create a very dramatic look or you can keep it quite neutral like what i've done today so i've actually used their palette today but i've kept it quite simple but they've also got very bright colors in there that you can create incredible looks with so it's just an incredible idea so this is edition number 14 i will show you guys all of the close-ups excuse me all of the close-ups and things like that that i filmed which is a lot better than me just being like look at this so inside of the palette you get three eyeshadow shades which are absolutely stunning two lip colors which again are beautiful one highlighter and one blush and for the add on this month you get an all over face gloss in the shade lymph so this gloss is it's sort of iridescent in a way like when you shine it to different lights it sort of the color pops a bit more and you can wear it underneath eyeshadow over the top you can wear it as highlighter i just think it's such a lovely luxury product so deck of scarlet is of course cruelty free and paraben free and shipping is available to the usa which is free um, and also canada and the uk hopefully soon they're going to expand their shipping arrangements so they'll be able to ship to different places across the world because i know you guys do message me and you're like i'm from here and i can't get it but i'm sure soon that'll be an option that they can consider so siren is an aqua blue green with a beautiful satin finish it's just incredible atlantis is a deep metallic purple shimmer finish again that's amazing and i feel like in different lights 
the colour sort of changes. Sandcastle is a warm toned cream matte finish. I think that shade is perfect for the base underneath your eyeshadow and also if you want to go for a matte finish like in the corner of your eye to brighten your eye a little bit. Seashell is a pink champagne glossy finish. I've actually got it on my lips now over the top of my lip liner and it's such a lovely formula. I literally love it. I feel like I'm going to say this wrong. Abyss? 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 Is a rich navy natural matte finish gloss. Oh my god, this was so much more pigmented than I thought and it's incredible and I really love all these shades because you don't have to wear it as lip gloss, you can wear it on your eyes if you want to or you could even put the gloss underneath your eyes and then the eyeshadow over the top to make the pigmentation sort of stay out a bit longer. Stay out a bit longer? Stand out. <laughs> um, sea Glow is a oh, incredible icy blue silver shimmer metallic finish, it's a highlighter. I did swatch it quite a lot but it is very pigmented but if you did use a little bit it would be very subtle like an icy finish so yeah that's really beautiful and then on my eyes I've actually got the bronzer and it is the shade Solo and I've also got that around my face too and it is a warm bronze golden shimmer with a satin finish and then the amazing crystal clear sheen gloss is a solid gloss and it glides to create the luminous glass like finish that sculpts your face and reflects the light so again you can put that all over your face wherever you want underneath the eyeshadow over the top you can just put it on your eyes as sort of a glossy finished eyeshadow you can put it on your lips if you want to literally anywhere and it's just such a versatile product so if you are interested in this if you want to buy this palette on its own or you want to buy oh, beat <laughs> or you want to buy the monthly subscription then check the link in my bio but down below and you can click on the link and that will take you to the direct page if you're new to deck of scarlet if you haven't signed up to their subscription before i will give you a 30 percent off code for your first month which is so exciting so i'll leave all of the information to that down below in the description box so make sure you check that out use my code and you'll get 30 percent off um, i don't receive any commission or anything from it they've just really Really kindly giving me a code for you guys so yeah i hope you guys enjoy it as much as i do i love this brand um, and i could literally talk about it for years but i'm not gonna because i think that would literally be my whole footage <laughs> my camera will be like no camera left so yeah i just want to quickly pop that out there in the open so you guys know what i'm talking about okay dokely so here is me hello <laughs> so this is my vanity mirror i love it so much i'll quickly tell you guys where these are from before I forget so this vase is from Asda actually these flowers are from Don Elm those two are from Asda um the wax melt holder was from Poundland actually and then I got some Glade wax melts and some tea lights from Poundland I think and then these are my Sigma brushes I've got my little Primark £2.50 holders they're like this but I sort of put them together so it looks like they're like one um but yeah there that that's literally all i've got on here i like to keep it really clean the only thing with glass is oh my god you'll be finding yourself clean clean it <laughs> i can't talk cleaning it all the time but for someone that wears makeup every day it does need to be cleaned so it does get dusty and sometimes it does get a lot of makeup on it <laughs> anyway moving on to this drawer here so i got these dividers from ebay i got the idea from mrs hinch so shout out to her it makes life so much easier when you want to separate your drawers into different sections so i've got some palettes here some palettes here of course my deck of scarlet ones on top yeah literally loads these are sort of palettes so i've got my main palettes in this drawer so my phone's there and this drawer and this one but these are palettes that are either new or palettes that i want to try recently and that i've been loving at the moment or anything like that so like my go-to sort of ones so they stay there sometimes i do swap these with the other ones in the drawer um here i've got some bow avenue sprays oh this one smells i sometimes just spray my flowers with it oh this one smells so good this one reminds me of christmas time which i don't really know why i think i got it in christmas at some point um i've got some different scents of those um i've got my face razors um i normally keep them in my skincare drawer which is that one there over there but i use these all the time so i thought i may as well keep them near me while i'm sort of getting ready um i've got my eyebrow dyeing stuff which i use a lot as well these brushes because i get individual lashes done so i bought these from primark so i can like brush them out but the ones that mia gives me where i get my lashes done are so much better <laughs> so i need to like buy a bunch of those so that's the first drawer going down here we've also got so the next this drawer and this one i'm not gonna lie they're quite boring i keep all of my hair stuff in here and my mirror yeah i'm not gonna lie it's a bit boring and messy i've got my cloud nine what are they called cases for my products so that one's in there and then this one 
<laughs> whoopsie, is my hair dryer and then my curlers and straighteners. So they just stay in there because I use these every day and then whenever I blow dry my hair, my hair dryer's in there. So it's not, it's really hard with hair stuff, I think, to make it look nice because it's not like <laughs> the nicest thing and like the tidiest thing, so it's a bit annoying. Um, anyway, this is like the main drawer. I'm gonna move back a little bit so you can see it properly. Yeah, this is the main drawer. Again, all these compartments are from eBay. Some people don't like them. I mean, I wish I could get prettier ones or like block ones, but you can't really slit like slot it in anywhere. But anyway, these are actually really good because you can create your own sort of sizes for them because each product's are different sizes. So I've got sort of my powders, bronzers, lip products, my favourite, um, lip liners in here. I've got an eyeliner. It's meant to go in there. Setting sprays and primers. That one goes like that. My favourite primer is this one. So yeah, those are there. I love the Urban Decay All Night one as well. That's incredible. I've got my Iconic London Glow. I felt like these needed their own sort of space. I feel like alone they look really pretty. Although <laughs> the other day I had a bit of an explosion with an eyeshadow. Can you see? It's like, oh, it's gone everywhere. So that exploded. I need to like clean that up. Got my setting sprays from them. Concealers, foundations. These are some of my favourites at the moment. Um, I've got my highlighters, blushes, hula bronzers, like bits and bobs like that. This one's got my brows. Oh, <laughs> I should probably show you. This one's got my brows, mascaras and eyeliners in. I just sort of slotted that into one because... I felt like they didn't need their own space. And then right at the back, we've got some setting spray, which is here from um, Primark. We've got some primers. This is from Primark. I use it basically every day. <laughs> I love this stuff so much. It is so good. It's four pounds and oh my God, it's incredible. And then some more bits and bobs. They're sort of stuff that I don't use as much. So my camera cut off then. But yeah, this is basically my everyday makeup drawer. I did have my everyday makeup in like a massive bag, but it got to the point where I was like, I kind of want it all here. I It was sort of an easy thing if I went away loads so I could just grab my bag and I knew I had everything I needed in it. At the same time, I just, it felt a bit messy and I'd kept adding to the bag and the bag wouldn't close. So I just thought, you know what, I'm going to do my compartments in here and it's honestly helped so much. And also if I am going away, I've got everything in here, which I take with me. Not everything, but like I take one of these, one of these, one of these. Do you know what I mean? So I've got my variety there. But honestly, all of this and this was in a makeup bag. So how does that fit in there? So when it's all here, I can see it's in its orders and it just is so much better. But yeah, I do want to get compartments for these drawers that are neater. So if anyone knows any, please leave some links or suggestions in the description box down below. These ones were just from eBay. So I'll leave these as well in the description box if you're interested. Because to be fair, they are handy and they do make everything a lot neater. But I do want ones that are a bit more slick, if that makes sense. But yeah, that's like the main drawer. Oh, I've got my little unstoppables in a bag. This is such a good hack. I actually have a home account over on Instagram, which if I remember, I probably won't. <laughs> I'll leave it in the description box. I think it's just Amy Rose Home. But um, these are unstoppables. They're meant to go in your washing machine. But I put these in some bags. I put them in the washing machine as well. But I put them in these bags and just leave them like this and it makes everything smell so good so yeah it's just a little hack you can also put them in your drawers too right this drawer is sort of i wish it was cleaner if i'm honest oh, i've got makeup wipes here which are empty recycling um okay so we've got some lashes here so i wear individuals but sometimes when they fall out i cut up a strip lash as you can see and stick that on so these are the ones i've been doing that with my unicorn i've got my everyday products so i always use the garnier micellar water every single day with my cotton pads and then i'll use my ole moisturizer but this is like nearly empty now <laughs> so i need to get a new one as soon as possible um i've also got some more sigma brushes as well as these these ones are sort of good to take away because they come in this little case um oh, beauty blender's got stuck yeah so yeah they come in a little case but um i love these also if you're wondering what this is on my hand i burnt myself with my curlers the other day <laughs> it looks so horrible i hate it i like want to cover up with makeup and stuff but oh don't mind it anyway um i've got my amazing iconic london brush oh this is so good to like put bronzer and stuff on your body or you, what I use is the actual Iconic London highlighter look at that so this actually 
you buy it separately but it goes together i do that and pop it in my uh, body and stuff it's so good so yeah top tip there um i've got a couple of beauty blenders i normally use this one for like my eyes like on top of my lids so yeah that's that this next drawer i'm not gonna lie is a bit messy again it's the hair drawer so it looks like this um <laughs> it's really hard to keep drawers like this tidy because products are huge so i did have like all the compartment stuffs in it but it made no sense because i didn't need them so i've literally got this box from ikea oh i should probably turn that around and make it look prettier that's like my ring light for my phone I, hey you sent it to me um okay so i've got hair bands in here literally ridiculous amounts hair grips you guys know i use these every single day they're like hair clips but when i curl my hair i'll do my hair then i'll do my makeup and i'll pinch these with my hair out of my face these are also really good for that they're from primark these pin curl clips i got from amazon i think they're really good um we've got some products in here this is actually so nice it's black opium but it's for your hair how good is that? So it's like a serum, but in black opium. Unreal. Um, this is my hairbrush, Mark Hill. <laughs> Bit boring. Tresemme uh, hairspray. Been using this at the moment. It's actually really good. I recommend that a lot. Um, this brand sent me some stuff, and their shampoo and conditioner is incredible. So, yeah, I haven't used this yet. But yeah, it's quite hard to make it look all like neat and tidy in the hair drawer because. All the products are quite big and these drawers aren't the biggest okay and then my bottom drawer is the most boring this is my bits and bobs drawer oh i've got some of these um so when you buy the compartment things from ebay they come like this and you can sort of break them off to make them the right size so i've done it a couple of times with things like this to like sort it in yeah so this is literally my bits and bobs drawer <laughs> i feel like everyone needs one of these um yeah really random bits in here that's it really so my angels this is the end of my dressing room tour i hope you guys have enjoyed it um i've had so many questions about it so i thought i would film it for you guys and let you guys in a little bit more to all of that kind of stuff if you do want me to film the rest of my beauty room let me know in the comments down below and also let me know in the comments down below what videos you want to film and also if you know any like compartments i can get which are a little bit more slick than those ones <laughs> so i'm dealing with that at the moment but i'm not the hugest fan um but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed it again i will leave deck of scarlet's information and the 30 percent off code for you guys in the description box down below so check that out and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye